Hey everybody, this is Coach here, and uh, I want to make a kind of a tech video, quote unquote, about Vanessa's takedown stance and some observations I noticed about how it can affect positioning in a match. So, without further ado, I'm gonna play the clip and I'm gonna freeze frame at the relevant parts. So, enjoy. So first thing I want to point out is at the beginning of the clip, Jackie's back was to the camera. And as a result, now that Vanessa has put him in the mounted stance, uh, Jackie raises his right arm to defend himself. And that raised right arm will be the key visual indicator to how Vanessa will get up. And in this particular case, she's going to attempt a forward throw and she's going to be pushed off to the opposite side to his arm. So his left side. All right, so we're gonna do a forward throw after takedown again, but notice this time, Jackie's stomach is facing the camera and not his back. Okay. Notice that this time, Jackie is holding up his left arm as a result of changing his stance from before. So this time, when Vanessa attempts to forward throw, she'll be pushed to his right. In the case of back throw and neutral throw, after takedown, Vanessa will get up on the same side of Jackie's raised arm, opposite of the forward throw. So the next four clips will play out so you can see this in motion. You're probably wondering right now, what happens if they take the throw after the takedown? Well, the actual answer is the rules apply the same exact way as before. So notice that Jackie is back turned to the camera, so he'll raise up his right arm. So if Vanessa does the forward throw, she'll get thrown to the left. And if she does the neutral or back throw, she'll get thrown to the right. So we've gone over the consequences of Vanessa attempting a grab after takedown from both the point of view where Jackie is facing towards the camera and when Jackie is facing away from the camera. Now you may be asking yourself at this point, why is this important? The main reason why you should care as Vanessa or someone playing versus Vanessa is positioning. And in this game, it can be critical and no more critical is it is when you are close to the edge of the ring. So I'm gonna play a few examples of why this will play out, but remember positioning matters even outside of the edge of the ring. Now you've been made aware of the potential dangerous outcomes of Vanessa doing takedown stands near the edge of the ring as both the attacker and the defender. And in a situation where you are not sure, just remember, you can always tap the guard button and get straight back up. That concludes the video, and I hope you all learned something as both playing as and against Vanessa. So in a tight situation where you might get rung out, for example, you should now have a better understanding of how takedown works to make more informed decisions to keep yourself out of danger as both the defender and an attacker, which creates an interesting mind game. So thanks for tuning in, and be on the lookout for other Vanessa tech. Thank you.